Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to check out today's video. Today's video is going to be a Kringle haul. So this is a combined Kringle haul. It's been a minute since I did a Kringle haul, which is so exciting. But they did a sale on, on like, I think it was like jars like this, the large jars, a sale on wax melts. And then they dropped a whole bunch of reserve line like the reserve line so this is like not really new this is from I think this is from the beginning of April just getting now to getting around now to filming it but that's okay all the haul right uh so yeah I this is two hauls one was the the drop of reserve and one was like some stuff that was already on the site so I'll just start with with what I have in my hand there's no rhyme or reason I think I got this one sale for like 20 dollars or something like that I'm not entirely sure, but this is blue raspberry and this is from the country candle lime. The scent notes on this are lime, citron, glazed raspberries, sweet strawberries, sugared blueberries, spun cotton candy, dazzling sugar, crystal woods, and candied musk. You know what? I didn't even see. No, these don't have scent notes. Some people see, or like I see them have scent notes on some of their candles and I'm like, well, I'm jealous. I want scent notes on my bottoms, but that's okay. But yeah, blue raspberry, it's 26 ounces. She's a She's so stunning. She's gorgeous. And I just love blue raspberry scents. Oh my gosh. And this one's good. It smells like blue raspberry. I mean, it has like a very extensive scent not list, scent notes, but it's really just, a, it smells like, like a, like a blue raspberry. It's not overly sweet though. I will say that like, this doesn't smell like a, like melted Jolly Rancher. This is a little bit more like almost a tinge lemony if that makes sense it doesn't smell like lemon but you know what I mean like when you add lemon to scents like if you add like a lemon blueberry and a muffin or whatever these are the new soy wit or soy formulas so these are all smooth and I, I think they're gonna burn great mm, how long does it say that these burn for 100 to 150 hours wow Back in the day, I did a burn test and to see how long my candle burned. I might do that with this, just to, just for funsies, because I don't have any other country candle in the soy. I have a country in the the old style. It's like a cotton candy scent, but I might do that just to see how this does. We'll see. But yeah, this is good. It smells like blue raspberry. It smells a little candy-like. We're enjoying that. I did sea salt and tonka in the wax melts. Like this is just it. This is such a good scent. I'm actually burning the large candle now. It's sea salt, lemon marine, uh, citrus, tonka bean, lavender, jasmine, amber, sheer musk, and cedar. And I just needed, I needed the wax melts. <sighs> because the candle's good. It's a smidge light. I'm not gonna lie. It's like a smidge light. I think it's more of a zen bedroom type of scent. So I wanted this, the wax melts to really pack a punch. Oh man, it's so good. I really like their wax melts. So these were on sale. And if they do another big sale, I'm getting a lot of scents because I just, I think that they perform really well. For me, they do. Man, that's good. It's so zen and spa. <sighs> it's so good. It's, it's just beautiful. It, it, it says lavender and jasmine. I don't get any of that. It smells truly like the salt of a spa, if that makes sense. Like it's not salty. It's actually almost like a tinge of sweet, but it really is just like zen and comfort. Oh my gosh. It's so good. If you haven't tried it, I suggest picking it up in like a daylight or a wax melt one there also, because it is, it's very, very good. And then the other wax melt that I have is Tropical Waters. So this one again was on sale as well. It's fruity, green, marine, ozone, watery, floral, gardenia, jasmine, rose, moss, musky, woody. I just love Love that picture. Put me right there. Put me in, coach. Gorgeous blue. And on first sniff, this smells very, very similar to Turquoise Waters from Bath & Body Works. If you've ever smelled that, super duper, super similar. The bottom, I get more green. Oh, that's like the second note is green. But yeah. <clears throat> and a slight, like that, a slight bit of that musk, but super duper similar to turquoise water so if you like that scent tropical waters might be for you <laughs> i personally love that scent so i'm excited to try this to see how it does when melting if it smells like an exact dupe or if that green kind of stays present so excited for that all right now we're moving into candles we're moving into big boys yeah we have radiant apple this one 
is, where are you? I have all my scent notes pulled up here because it's important. Blue Pearmain Apple, Ruby Red Grapefruit, Lemon Zest, Pink Pineapple, Blue Raspberry, Bitter Virgi Virginia, Virginia, never heard of that. Tender Violet Blossom, Cane Sugar, and White Woods. This one was interesting to me because the second note is grapefruit and I love me a grapefruit scent. Apple, like farm stand apple, it's okay, but I just, if you put grapefruit as that second note and then lemon zest as your third, I am interested to try it. So, Radiant Apple. Ooh. This doesn't smell like apple. This does not smell like apple. What does it smell like? Oh, what does this smell like? This is incredibly difficult for me to pinpoint. Is it lemon? Blue raspberry? Maybe this kind of smells like oddly similar to this blue raspberry. Hang on. Okay, no, very different. But I kind of like, I kind of get like the lemon and the, the raspberry. Like, I'm trying to take a lid off. It's already off. <laughs> Interesting. This does not smell like apple to me. Interesting. I'm going to have to warm that. I was expecting like a very apple, but maybe like a super tart apple, a zesty apple. I get a lot of, I think the lemon. Let me see if I can warm it up with my fingers here. Nope, that doesn't change anything. Interesting. Okay, so this one, the verdict is out on this one. I don't know. The, the label is stunning. It doesn't smell bad. It just doesn't smell like apple to me. Smells more zesty, which I'm here for, so I don't mind it, but okay. Okay. Then we have Splash, and I think this one's really pretty too. The scent notes on this one are Valencia Orange, Kefir Lime, Fresh Air, Pink Jasmine, Lavender, Water Lily, White Patchouli, Cedar Leaf, and Amber Mist. And I did look up some reviews on most of these because these are really expensive, you guys. I did use a code so I could get them not full priced because they retail for $34, which is, which is a lot. Uh, you do get, it says 100 hours of burn time. I think you, you definitely get at least that, if not more. But still, they're super, super, super expensive. So I did watch reviews on um, some of them. Some of them I figured I'd just like. But this one was marketed as like a as a manly scent. And I like manly scents. So I was like, all right, let's try it. And that's exactly it. It smells like... <sighs> this smells like, some, like a really nice men's body product. Like a shower gel. Very, very nice. Like high end. Doesn't smell cheap. Doesn't smell uh, like adolescent. This is nice. I like this. I think you get a lot of that, like the cedar leaf, the amber, the, the mist, water, <laughs> fresh air. Yeah. Orange and lime. I couldn't pinpoint that's exactly what's in here. But yeah, this is a classic like watery man fragrance. I like it. I like it a lot. <clears throat> Moving on. Oh, I didn't realize how many I got. I got a lot <laughs> in these two orders. Australian Kiwi. I I do really like the labels. I think the black's interesting. They show every single fingerprint. I will tell you that. So you just kind of have to pretend that that's not happening. But that's okay. Uh, this is Citron Lychee or Lychee, however you pronounce it. Apricot, Kiwi Pulp, Melon, Starfruit, Citron, lychee or lychee again and apricot isn't that so the, the the top and the base notes are exactly the same interesting i don't know if that is a is that a boo-boo or is that supposed to be that way anyway i just thought this was very interesting to have a lime fragrance lime is not usually done it can come off super cleaner if you do a straight lime so i was interested to see this Ooh. Interesting. It doesn't. It's not super. Not lime. I meant kiwi. Kiwi. Oh my god. Kiwi lime. Because I don't know why I thought lime. Kiwi. Australian kiwi. Kiwi. Lime and kiwi, same thing. But kiwi, no, it doesn't come off cleaner. But kiwi is not, you know, done all that often. This is really nice. It's very like melony. Melon and starfruit. Yeah. 
I don't really like star fruit. So there is a smidge of something that I don't love in here, but the base of it, like the top is good. Mm, interesting. I think that's pretty good. I feel like this would be really nice blended if you had it, like if you're into candle blending, this blended with like a strawberry scent to do that classic strawberry kiwi would be really nice or a lemon. Mm, it's very melon heavy for sure. That's very nice. It's just like a soft kiwi. It smells like a very like squishy kiwi. That's pretty good. Different. I definitely do not own anything like that, which is exciting. Then I have silk sheets. Set notes on this one are lemon, marine, ozone, fresh cotton, lavender, clary sage, amber, red cedar, and musk. And I love laundry. You know that I love laundry. But this, this is not laundry. I mean, like I can see where you would maybe get a tinge of it, but it doesn't necessarily smell like laundry. This is almost like a sort of powdery, manly. It's like a sort of powdery, manly fragrance. It kind of reminds me of like a, like a, like a robe that a man would wear. Maybe a silk robe. Yeah, like not like a, a heavy robe but like a silk robe or silk pajamas. I can, I can see the silk sheets uh, name. <laughs> That's not bad. I don't think this is my most like prized possession, but it's not bad. It's not bad. I think I'm gonna get sick of it though halfway through. I'm, if I'm being honest, if I'm being honest, it's really a nice fragrance. It's again, it's very complex. There is like an undertone of laundry but again, it's more powdery and manly than it is laundry. That's, I mean, it's good. It's, it's, it's good. I just don't know if I would love that for a hundred hours straight. Cause I'm the type of person that burns a candle and then finishes it. I don't really put them away. Psychedelic citrus. This one was so pretty. I was very drawn to it. And citrus, like I said, citrus is my boo. I love anything. Lemon, lime, grapefruit. I just love it all. Orange. Okay, sparkling orange, lime fizz, grapefruit glow, sweet strawberry, apricot nectar, lush watermelon, sugar crystals, and solar musk. I really love all those tent notes. I really do. Okay. This is not, this is not as citrusy as I wanted. I wanted like a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Like this is orange, this is lime, this is fizzy, this is zest. Hmm. It's definitely watered down. What's the little blurb? Experience a tantalizing kaleidoscope of citrusy vibrance with psychedelic citrus where zesty oranges and the refined sweetness of reserve pear combine to create an exhilarating fruit filled aroma that awakens the senses. But there's no pear in the scent notes. This is the thing with Kringle, and I have said this for many moons. I hate that they slap a label and a name on something, and then the scent notes are like not even in it. They did it with Blueberry Muffin. There's no blueberry notes in the Blueberry Muffin. Now, I think it may have changed, but there was no blueberry in Blueberry Muffin. How does that make any sense? There was another one that did the exact same thing. I just, it, it, it's like really irking me that they're, they're, they're saying the reserve pair but you didn't put pear in the scent notes. Not everyone's gonna read the little blurb. Also, why wouldn't you just put it in the scent notes? If it's in the candle, put it in the scent notes. Anyway, anyway, psychedelic citrus, it's fine. It kind of smells like a, it's just okay. I wouldn't say that this is a favorite. This is not a repurchase. Now maybe it comes alive when burning. I don't know, but it's like, it's, it's just super, super, super watered down. It's not zesty. It's not juicy. It's just like a bland citrus. And for however much, like $30 or whatever I paid for this, I want what your scent notes are giving me. Sparkling orange, lemon lime, and grapefruit glow. No. I'll have to burn it. We'll see. But yeah, it's just kind of bland. And for a, with a stunning label like this, do not give me bland. That's just me though. That's just me. Ooh, jelly donut. So this is this is the box that I yeah, this must be the box that <laughs> of the things that dropped that came back. So jelly donut. I did wind up getting two of these because 
everybody and their mother. Instagram, YouTube. I'm not really in anything on Facebook for Kringle, but everybody and their mother is like, Jelly Donut, bring her back, please bring her back. So I was like, okay, what am I missing? Because you girlies and you guys are going crazy over Jelly Donut. Like absolutely bonkers. You're losing your dang minds. So what do we have here? This is pastry, fruit, raspberry, blackberry, citrus, butter, and vanilla. I can get down with that. It's very simple. Let's read the little blurb because apparently that's important. The pampering essence of gently, <laughs> what? The pampering essence of gently fried pastry dough filled with sweet raspberry jam, juicy blackberry, creamy vanilla, and a hint of sugared citrus. Again, you don't have citrus in your set notes. Okay, jelly donut. Let me see. Ooh, okay, okay. It's good. It smells jelly-y, it does. Okay. Now I was really hoping that this would not be similar to Wild Berry Jam Donut from Bath & Body Works. It's not, it's giving you the same like base of donut, but the jelly is different. This is heavier on that blackberry, or it's heavier on like the, hmm. I think it's a good blend of raspberry and blackberry. I think this is nice. It's good. Definitely good. We'll see how it goes. I'm, I really don't like wet wild berry jam donut, especially when burning. I think it's disgusting. So I'm really hoping this one does not turn nasty on me. But that's just a personal preference. There's nothing wrong with that candle. It's just my nose. But this one smells good. It smells heavier on the jam than the donut, which I'm here for. So that one's good. That one smells nice. All right. All right. I'll take it. Then we have macaroons. And this one is pastry, fruit, sweet strawberry, vanilla, and butter. The blurb is the mouth-watering appeal of freshly baked pastry. Why can't I read? Oh my gosh. The mouth-watering appeal of freshly baked pastry macaroons layer layered with a sweet, with sweet highlights of vanilla, sugar, and soft touches of blushed roots. It's, it's in the morning. And can you tell I haven't had my coffee yet? <laughs> I can, literally can't read. Okay, so freshly baked pastry macaroons layered with sweet highlights of vanilla sugar and soft touches of blushed fruits. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. She's fruity. Oh. I was not expecting that much fruit from this. Really? Wow. Pastry, fruit, sweet, strawberry, vanilla, and butter. Holy moly. That's really nice. So it honestly, I don't get much of like, this label is so pretty. I don't get much of like the cookie. This smells like the filling to me. Like the, that super soft, like the, the fruit filling of a macaroon or whatever. There, there's like a whole debate. Like, I know these are not what these are called. This is a macaron, but it's called macaroons. I, listen, I don't have the time to care. I just don't, I don't care. There's way bigger things in the world than what a cookie is called and what it looks like. I just, I, Call it what you want. I don't care. I don't care. Okay. This is really nice. Wow. Okay. I think I like it being more fruity. Mm, this like paired with a vanilla could go very well. Or like their sugar cookie. Oof. Again, if you're into candle blending, that could be onto something. Okay. So I have just four more. I have sweet cream. Now this one is completely sold, like erased from the website. So I don't actually know the scent notes of it. I know it has strawberry. That I do know. I know that I think it's like, if we're, if we're, gonna, if we're gonna go by context clues here, it's like a strawberry whipped cream, if I had to guess. I don't know. Since, you know, they like to put different things in their scent notes. I will show you, oh, you can't tell with the lid. Let me tell you if I put it. Um, it's It has like, uh, like frosting on it. It's just vanilla fragrances they get you can definitely see it there. Um, they just like, uh, they crystallize in the lid. It's not mold, it's not bad. It's just, that's what vanilla fragrances do. And this one's real nice. Very, very soft, a little light, but I don't know if it's like a fresh pour. I think it is, because these, again, were the ones that came back, I think. I think, I don't remember. But that's exactly, this is exactly what it smells like, is strawberry cream. Wow. That's real nice. That, that is super nice. I'm hoping, I'm fingers crossed that it picks up like in throw and strength and whatnot when I light it. Cause this is beautiful. It is not sour at all. It's not like milky and lactic. It is beautifully 
blended like sweet cream and strawberries, but not like, it's just like the perfect strawberry. It's not a green strawberry. It's not a candied strawberry. It's just like the perfect, perfectly red strawberry. Wow, that's nice. Oh, please be strong. The lid doesn't really smell like anything. So that's, it might be a fresh pour. It might. But that's good. That one's really nice. That one's a contender for my favorite. Just saying. Just saying. Okay, and then we have sprinkled macaroons. And this one is creamy pumpkin, coconut milk, sweet praline, nutmeg, cinnamon, and vanilla marshmallow. Now, I think the scent notes are wrong. I don't know which ones. Ooh, it got a bubble in the label. I don't know which ones are right, which ones are wrong, but th those that's what's on their website right now. But their, their blurb is the sweet blend of vanilla and nut meets heartwarming brown sugar and butter, culminating into a comforting base of toasted vanilla bean, crafting an olfactory masterpiece that evokes the joy of freshly baked treats. Well, that sounds delicious. So I think the scent notes are wrong. There's nothing about pumpkin, coconut milk, pralines. Yeah, and this is, this is, you know, as when I was doing my research on scents, people said that this smells very much like marshmallow morning. I've had that, I've burned it. I have one more in my collection and it does. It smells very similar. I think this one's a little bit stronger on cold for sure, based off of, I did smell that one before I brought all these out so I could have like a fresh, fresh mind. Did I bring it with me? No, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, it smells super similar. This one's a little stronger. And if I will say maybe a smidge creamier. <sighs> that's my dog snoring if you can hear that. This one's really nice though. I am not burning this now because this to me is a very fall or winter fragrance because it's very dense, very, my goodness, she is snoring away. <laughs> very dense, very heavy, very thick bakery. I like it. I really like it though. I mean, I like Marshmallow Morning, so I'm, this one, I think it smells better though, just because it's stronger. But marshmallow morning was fine. Like it burned fine. I had no problems with it. So I have, I'm guessing I'll have no problems with this one. Anyway, this one is good. She's good. Okay. And I have two more. These I've been, I've been wanting this collection for so long, but it's just, again, it was expensive and they never put it on sale. So I was like, you know what? I'm putting an order in. Oh, it was free shipping. That's what it was. They offered free shipping and I could use a code. So I was like, you know what? Now's the time we're getting what we've been wanting. So I got two out of the three fantasy collections or collection. Uh, one of them was sold out, but that's okay. So this is mermaid scales and I'm absolutely 1 million percent saving these jars because it is glitter and blue. And, oh, it's like a, a shift to purple. You can't really see it, but it shifts to purple in real life. And these do have the scent notes. So praise be. Citrus, orange, bergamot, green mango, sea salt, sea kelp, floral, and amber. Ooh, oh, I like this one. Definitely sweet fruit, like a mango or a, like a papaya almost. Is mango in the sentence? I don't even know why I bother reading the sentence because I forget them immediately. Citrus, orange, bergamot, green mango, sea salt, sea kelp, floral, amber. Yeah. Oh. Very good. This is good for summer. It's like a sweet fruit juice. Juicy. Mm, I like that. With a little bit of amber, yeah. That's very nice. Ooh, mermaid scales. Shout out to you, girl. She's a good summer burn. And then the other one that was available was unicorn poop. I'm not into like unicorns or anything, but it's, you know, if you're into that, that's cute. I'll probably just turn it around. <laughs> This is lemon zing, sweet orange, bergamot zest, sugared blossoms, cotton candy swirls, whipped vanilla, rainbow sprinkles, and shimmering musk. And I just think that sounds delicious. This one you can see is doing that frosting as well, just in a different way. So again, this is not mold. It is not going to make you sick. It's just what the vanilla fragrance oils do. So if you get anything that looks like that, that's why. Oh. Oh, that is not as sweet as I was expecting. That's a little powdery. Is there musk? Let's see, or amber? Oh yeah, shimmering musk. Sugar blossoms and shimmering musk. I feel like that's, wow. I don't get a lot. I don't get lemon zing or orange or bergamot. Again, the top three notes I do not get. Those are all very citrus, 
Cotton candy, no. Whipped vanilla. Mm. This is this is very not what I was expecting. I wanted more again. I want more orange and lemon and bergamot. Give it to me. I want citrus. Wow, it's powdery. <sighs> very powdery. I don't know if I love this one. It's okay, but again, I don't think for a hundred hours I'm gonna love this. I don't know. It's very musky with like a very powdery floral. It with a tinge of like something sweet, but not not really my most favorite. So, but that's all right. We'll try it. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? They did have one other reserve candle that I had my eye on and I'm pretty sure it's orange, but that dropped, did that drop with it or later? I can't remember, but I really, really want orange. But my only problem with orange was they have a Sicilian orange and I hate that fragrance. It is too tree. It is too green. I do not like it. I want orange. So when they said, oh, we're releasing an orange candle, that's great. The first note, the top note is green. And I said, if this is a repackage of Valencia orange, I'm going to lose my dang mind. Because you cannot slap, you can't do that. You, you can't say it's a reserve line and say it's new. When it's, you're slapping, but I don't know. People say it smells just like orange, but it's got lemongrass in it, jasmine, musk, amber, green. I don't know. I'm, I'm a little on the fence about it. I'm scared to buy it because I'm like, if this is a case of sprinkled macaroons where you're just slapping a new a new label on like a, just a little bit more fragrance of a blend that you already have. I'm not here for it. I am not here for it. So I don't want to buy it if it's just going to be Valencia orange. So I need some more reviews to come out because I, I, I just, I don't, I don't do that. That's not nice. I don't think that's, I don't think that's good marketing. I don't think that's fair. But who am I? Who is little old me that nobody will listen to? But anyway, that's my Kringle pretty much reserve haul. I have never burned a Kringle reserve. I just, I wasn't really looking to spend that much money on it, but with codes and free shipping, it wound up to be okay. And we're here for it. So I'm really excited. I think honestly, my favorite from all of them might be sweet cream. That's real good. That is so good. I, I think that one might be the favorite. That, and I really, really like Splash actually. It's a lovely man fragrance. That one's that one's really nice. Um, yeah, I think those are the faves. Oh, macaroons is good too. I like this one too. Macaroons, I like. So those are the top three, I think. I think those are the top three. Jelly donut is good too. I don't know. I'm just afraid that it's gonna turn ick. But again, that's a me thing, not a you, not a them thing. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Let me know down below if you guys bought anything recently from Kringle. Are you into these reserve drops? Have you tried anything? Let a girl know because I am here to chat with you all. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.